All right, so there are so many excellent smartwatches on the market right now. I've reviewed tons of these in the past, but in this video, we're talking about the five very best smartwatches you can buy. Now, you might be wondering why five, it's the best of the best, just give me the one, Mike. But everybody has smartwatches for different reasons. Think about it. Like some people use them for fitness, some people want notifications, some people really care about style, other people want a little fitness band. So everybody has different priorities. So the best smartwatch for one person might not be the best watch for you. So in this video, I have five categories that I think should cover just about everybody out there. And for each category, I'll share not only my top pick, but also whenever it's relevant, I'll share a runner up, whether that is a cheaper version or iOS versus Android or whatever. So we're gonna have a little bit more than five watches in this video, but the five categories we're talking about are the best for losing weight and improving health, which by the way, I think is probably the most common category for most people out there. A lot of people just kind of want to keep tabs on their health. They're not trying to run marathons, but you want it like you really want those analytics. Number two, the best looking. Maybe you care about your health, but you really want to wear something that looks nice, looks sharp. If you're going to a wedding, if you're going to work, if you just want to look good in general with a watch that also gets notifications and isn't a black square like an Apple watch, that's going to be the one for you. Then we'll talk about the best budget smartwatch, the best sports smartwatch, which is not the best sports watch, it's a little bit different, I'll explain that in a minute, and of course, the best overall smartwatch. So the best overall is kind of just a, a general umbrella term for like, if somebody says, hey Mike, I don't really know what I want, but I want the best smartwatch I can buy, like that's gonna be what that one is. So starting off category number one, the best smartwatch in 2023 for improving your health and for losing weight is actually not what you'd expect. So in the past, I was always saying the Fitbit Versa 2, Fitbit Versa 3, Fitbit Sense, whatever, those were the best for losing weight because Fitbit, in my opinion, has a really nice UI. It's very user-friendly. They kind of dumbed down a lot of analytics to make it very digestible. And so if you're not a marathon runner, you don't care about your VO2 max. You just care about doing the little things, building up a healthier lifestyle, and that's exactly what Fitbit does. It gamifies it, it gives you little goals throughout the day, it celebrates those achievements, and I feel that a lot of people have a lot of success with Fitbit. But the best this year is not a Fitbit, it's actually the Google Pixel Watch, which comes as no surprise, Google acquired Fitbit, which means you're getting all of the good stuff from Fitbit, but now in a Google-built watch, which means you get a lot more smartwatch functionality. You're getting Google Assistant on here, Google Maps, a lot of really powerful things that make it substantially better in many ways than the previous Fitbit watches. So that's why I chose that one for this category. I've also been wearing this watch quite a bit. I mean, since I got it, probably off and on, but a total of at least like four months I was wearing it. And it really is a nice watch, not just for fitness and, and health, but just as an everyday smartwatch, a lot of people would really like the Pixel Watch. But again, you have a, just a black circle when it's off. Like you can have an always on display, but some people want something that looks a little bit classier. Now, I'm not talking an Apple Watch or, or a Galaxy Watch or anything like that. I'm talking about the best looking watch of 2023 is actually a hybrid smartwatch in my opinion. We have two options here. The first one is the Citizen CZ Smart Hybrid. This one, I don't actually have it yet. It's coming out very, very soon. So if you wanna see the full review of that when it comes out, be sure to subscribe to this channel. But out of the watches I do have, this one hands down is the best looking smartwatch, the Withings ScanWatch Horizon. The Withings ScanWatch Horizon, in my opinion, is the best looking smartwatch of 2023 because it has a really nice, solid stainless steel build. It's heavy on the wrist, it feels premium, it looks premium, and not only is it totally mistakable for a regular analog watch, but you also have the health insights on the inside of any other smartwatch out there. You can track your heart rate, you can do an ECG on here, you have a pedometer on here, it can track workouts, it can give you notifications, it, timers, it does a lot more than just a regular analog watch, but you wouldn't know it at first glance. You see, you have this tiny little display on the top, and when you're using it, the analog hands move out of the way, and the best part is, the battery life on this is about 30 times longer than an Apple Watch. You're getting a 30-day battery life on this, which I think is an absolute win. So for many people out there who are considering, say, an Apple Watch, but you don't like, they have to charge it every day, that it's like a big black rectangle on your wrist, maybe the Withings ScanWatch Horizon is the right one for you. And then of course, going to the total opposite side of the spectrum, maybe you don't care about what it looks like, but you do care a lot about the budget. A lot of these watches, let's face it, they're expensive, 300, 400, $500, like they get expensive pretty quickly. So if you are on a budget and you still want to do basically what a smartwatch does, 
look no further than the Xiaomi Mi Band 7. Now, depending on where you are, the Xiaomi Mi Band 8 might be out, and of course, depending on when you're watching that, so I'll have a link in the description to all of these watches, but I'll have a link to the 7 and the 8. Depending on your region, maybe it's available. But just looking at, they're pretty similar. The Mi Band 7 right here is a fantastic device. You can do a lot with this. So it tracks your heart rate and it does so surprisingly accurately. Like when I did the test, I was blown away by just how accurate such a cheap device could be, selling for well under $100. And it also has a lot of other apps on here. You've got your weather, you've got timers, you can use it as a remote shutter to take photos with your camera. So you can set your phone, whatever, 25 feet away, tap on this and take a photo. It also tracks your sleep, your steps, your blood oxygen levels, your heart rate, it does really a lot on this watch. Among many, many other things that I talked about in that original review, the Mi Band 7 and Mi Band 8 are two fantastic devices that are very small, very subtle, and most importantly, very affordable. Moving on to the next category, the best sport smartwatch. And by this, I don't just mean a regular sports watch. What I really mean is it has to work like an everyday smartwatch. This video is the best smartwatches after all. So it needs to have like a microphone and a speaker. You need to be able to like do a lot of smartwatchy things on here, get Spotify, things like that. And so there's two answers here. The best sports smartwatch for Apple users, without a doubt, is the Apple Watch Ultra. It's a fantastic device, an absolute behemoth on your wrist, yes, but super durable, lots of functionality, and of course, it is like a really nice display that works well with that extra button. So it's just an Apple Watch on steroids that's perfect for working out. But if you're not an Apple user, the best sports smartwatch of 2023 for non-Apple users, or for Apple users as well, you can use this, is the Garmin Venue 2 Plus. It's a watch that I've been wearing for most of the past year. Fantastic watch because it does have a microphone and a speaker on here. You are able to like answer phone calls, for example, on here. It has Spotify in there, and it is incredibly accurate. Being made by Garmin, the GPS, the heart rate, I've always been so impressed by this watch. Whenever I am like doing like training for a half marathon, something like that, this is my go-to watch. Now, sort of as a side note, this isn't a category, but if you want a watch with longer battery life, consider getting a solar watch. Garmin has a bunch of them, uh, or the G-Shock GBD H2000, for example, essentially has an infinite battery life. I've never charged it, and it still does a lot of smartwatchy things. And of course, the best overall smartwatch. We have iOS and we have Android. So starting off with iPhone users, the best smartwatch for Apple users is actually not what you think. Technically, it would be the Apple Watch Ultra. Maybe the Apple Watch 8, some people would argue, but I encourage most people to get neither of those, which is surprising. Like, a lot of people wouldn't expect that. But there really isn't much of a perceivable difference to most users in getting the Apple Watch SE 2. It's substantially cheaper. It's like a third of the price of the Apple Watch Ultra, if not less than that. And it is a fantastic watch. It does basically everything the Apple Watch 8 does, and it's on sale typically for around 220 ish dollars. I'll have links in the description below. But the Apple Watch SE, for most Apple users out there, hands down, is the one to go with. For Android users, a little bit more of a toss up. There's a lot of options out here. So I'll give you my main choice and I'll give you a runner up. So the main choice is the brand new TicWatch Pro 5. This is very exciting because TicWatch really took the standard Android smartwatch and put their own spin on it. Not only do we have a much longer battery life, giving you multiple days rather than just like 18 hours or whatever, you're getting a solid like, I don't know, four days or something on this watch. And it also has two separate displays, which not only saves power, but gives it kind of a cool, unique feature. So you have kind of an LCD on top that looks like a, an old calculator display, but underneath that you have a full typical touchscreen this is a very fast, very snappy watch with a lot of storage on here and all the latest stuff, but there is one drawback. This does not have Google Assistant. And of course the runner up here, how could I forget the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This is a, a really fantastic watch built by Samsung, really durable, solid build, build quality to it. It does have the, uh, the rotating touch bezel, so it's easy to navigate the interface. And overall, like it's made by Samsung, Galaxy watches have always been among my favorites but I wanna give one little shout out here. I know I said I'd have a runner up, but this one's not even out yet. I think this is a prediction. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is hands down going to be the best in this category. So that's why it was so difficult. Take Watch Pro 5 is my choice. Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is my runner up. But if you can wait uh, like maybe three months or four months, whenever, I don't know, we assume maybe like August-ish, 
the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic, if it comes this year, is probably going to be the best Android smartwatch. So those are my picks. Since you watched the video this long, hopefully that means you liked it. And if you did, I'd recommend watching this video next. This is my latest video. Or if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm Michael Bryan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there.